Zhuang characters, or Sandip theta ip, are logograms derived from Han characters and used by the Zhuang people of Guangxi and Yunnan, China to write the Zhuang languages for more than 1,000 years. The script is not only used by the Zhuang but also by the closely related Buye in Guizhou, China, and Tay in Vietnam and Nung, in Yunnan, China and Vietnam. Sandip, Sandip is a Zhuang word that means immature characters. The Zhuang word for Chinese characters used in the Chinese language is sa gun sandip. Characters of the Han. Gun is the Zhuang term for the Han Chinese. Even now, in traditional and less formal domains, sandip is more often used than alphabetical scripts. Topic: <laughs> Names. The name Old Zhuang script is usually used to distinguish it of the official alphabet-based script standard Zhuang. In Mandarin Chinese, these are called Gu Zhuangzi Chinese, Gu Zhuangzi literally, Old Zhuang characters, or Fangkuai Zhuangzi, Fangkuai Zhuangzi, square-shaped Zhuang characters. Sandip, and its synonyms can be used with a spectrum of narrow to broad meanings. The narrowest meaning confines its use just to characters created by Zhuang to write Zhuang and excludes existing Chinese characters, and at its broadest includes all the square characters used to write Zhuang regardless of whether they are of Chinese or Zhuang origin, however not always possible to origin of a character. In this article the inclusive broader meaning is usually used. In Chinese whilst usually Old Zhuang script Gu Zhuang Zi and Square Zhuang script Fang Kue Zhuang Zi are synonymous, when used contrastively the former is restricted to those characters used before the founding of the Republic of China in 1911. <laughs> <laughs> Characteristics Sandip is made up of a combination of Chinese characters, Chinese-like characters, and other symbols. Like Chinese it can be written horizontally from left to right, or vertically from right to left. The script has never been standardized, some morphosyllables have more than a dozen associated variant glyphs. According to Zhang Yuansheng, Zhang Yuan Sheng characters not also used in Chinese usually make up about 20% of Sandip texts, although some texts may be composed almost entirely of characters also used in Chinese. Different scholars categorize Sandip in slightly different ways. According to Bauer Sandip characters can be categorized using a more complex system than the six traditional classification principles. Symbols that do not resemble Chinese characters, and are borrowed from non-Chinese writing systems such as the Latin alphabet and possibly Burmese. Non-standard Chinese-like characters created via ideogrammatic compounds. Non-standard Chinese-like characters created via phono-semantic compounds. Example, BYA mountain, is often written as ba, containing the ideographic shan mountain, in conjunction with phonetic ba ba. Example, Vun's person is often written as yun, containing the ideographic radical ren person, in conjunction with phonetic yun yun. Standard Chinese characters borrowed solely for their pronunciations, and do not share the same original meaning in Chinese in accordance with the phonetic loan principle. Example, Ms. To have is often written as mai, a character that is pronounced in Mandarin Chinese as mai, but which means eyebrow. Non-standard Chinese-like characters created specifically for Zhuang to indicate the meaning of certain morphosyllables in accordance with indicative ideograms. Standard Chinese characters representing loanwords or etymologically related morphosyllables from Chinese. Example: boy, cup, is written as bei, a variant character of bei bei, meaning cup in Chinese. Standard Chinese characters borrowed solely for their meanings and do not have a matching reading in Zhuang with Chinese New characters made by juxtaposing a pair of Chinese characters that spell out the pronunciation of the Zhuang word is in the traditional Chinese Fanch system, with one character representing the initial consonant and the other the rest of the syllable. History 
The script has been used for centuries, mainly by Zhuang singers and shamans, to record poems, scriptures, folktales, myths, songs, play scripts, medical prescriptions, family genealogies and contracts, but exactly when it came into being is not known. It is usually reckoned that Sandip started to be used over 1,000 years ago in the Tang dynasty or earlier. However a study comparing Sandip with the similar but different neighboring Chu Nam script of Vietnam suggested that the script started at latest in the 12th century at about the same time as Chu Nam. <laughs> Early vernacular characters Even before the Tang dynasty Zhuang or closely related languages were written down using characters that were either Chinese or made up of Chinese components. Whether these are viewed as Sandip, or as some sort of precursor to Sandip, depends not only the evidence itself, but also differing views of what counts as Sandip and from what era the term Zhuang can be applied. Some scholars say Sandip started in the Han dynasty and note the occurrence on words of Zhuang origin in ancient Chinese dictionaries such as Y which in Sandip for the Zhuang. Vase, water buffalo, and in section 19 of area is given as having similar pronunciation and means niu cow, cattle. There are some similarities in the poetical style of the Song of the Yu Boatman, Chinese Yu Ren Gi Pinyin Yu Ren Gi from 528 BC and the Zhuang Efewen style. Y Ching Wen has interpreted the song by reading the characters as Zhuang and some consider the written version and other such songs to be a forerunner though not an example of Sandip. It has also been interpreted as being Tai, Dong and Cham. Topic: <laughs> Tang era, 7th 9th centuries. The fact that Zhuang readings of borrowed Chinese characters often match early Middle Chinese suggests a Sui Tang date, however it has been noted these could also be explained as later borrowings from conservative Pinghua varieties. Chinese characters were already in use in the Zhuang area, as illustrated by two Tang dynasty steles entitled Lu He Zhang Da Jai Song, Lu He Jian Gu Da Jai Song, Eulogy of the Six Sides Courtyard, 682, and Ji Sheung Bei. Ji Sheung, Monument of Ji Cheng City, 697. Although these are written in Chinese, the latter contains a number of non-standard characters. One of these is the Sandip character consisting of Mi over Tian for Naz, Paddy Field. Topic: <laughs> Song Era, 10th-13th centuries. Several Song Dynasty Han Chinese authors give examples of vernacular characters. Tu Su Zi Tu Su Zi used in Guangxi such as Zhou Chufei in Lingwai Daida and Fan Chen Da in Gai Hai Yuhan Ji, Gui Hai Yu Ng saying that such characters were common in the area and used in legal documents such as indictments, complaints, receipts and contracts. Table of characters noted in the Song Dynasty Gai Hai Yuhan Ji and also in 1986 Sondip Dictionary. Topic: Ming Era, 14th 17th centuries. Whilst no manuscripts from the Ming Dynasty have yet been found, dozens of classic Sandip works that survive to this day were first written during this dynasty or earlier. Some consider this to be the most abundant period of Sandip literature. Exact dating is difficult in part because some songs were composed and transmitted orally before being written down, such as Efo and Sengzines. Song to Tell Others, which Liang Tingwang Liang Tingwang has stated whilst containing some content comes from centuries before that was written down during the Ming Dynasty. Similarly, Songs of March, Songs of the Daytime, Songs of the Road, and Songs of House Building were first created between the Tang and Song dynasties or earlier and certainly written down at latest during the Ming Dynasty. Some songs were both created and written down during the Ming Dynasty. Fon Caeg, Songs of War, Chinese, Zaigi Zaigi, from Pinghua, which is considered it be such despite some lines which are later editions. Fon Nganx, Huan, The Dragon Eye Fruit, Long Yan Song, a love story is also from the Ming era. A number of songs written in Sandip are stories which are originally of Han origin but for hundreds of years have been part of the Zhuang tradition, such as Ban Tang Huang. Efowen Dongzwang's song about Tang emperors about Li Dan and Ban Ying Tai, 
Efewen Yingdays song about Yingte and Benwen Long Efewen VWN Zilungs song about Wenlong to name but a few are reckoned to have first been written down in Sandip during the Ming dynasty or earlier In the case of Efewen VWN Zilungs the original Han story itself has been lost Topic <laughs> Qing era mid 17th 19th centuries Thousands of Sandip manuscripts from the Qing period survive to this day. One well-known old surviving text is the Yifeng Yifeng Book of Folk Songs from Gaiping, published in the 18th century. A book entitled Taiping Spring, Taiping Chun, that contains a number of songs and is kept in Lingyun is dated as 1682. Another source is the Yi Yiyu, Yi Yiyu, Chinese Barbarian Vocabulary. Compiled by the Bureau of Translators in the mid-18th century on the order of the Qianlong Emperor, and now held in the archives of the Imperial Palace Museum. The Survey of Western Guangxi was less thorough than other parts of the empire, consisting of just 71 to 170 items from three different locations. Each entry consists of a Zhuang word written in the Zhuang script, with its pronunciation and meaning given in Chinese. It demonstrates both the wide use and lack of standardization of Sandip. Topic: <inaudible> Modern Era, 20th 21st centuries. Whilst after the introduction of an official alphabet-based script in 1957 Sandip have been seldom been used in some formal domains such as newspapers, laws and official documents, they continue to be used in less formal domains such as writing songs, and personal notes and messages. After the Chinese Revolution in 1949, even communist revolutionary propaganda was written using Sandip. In 1957 an official romanized Zhuang script was introduced. However, there are major phonetic and lexical differences between Zhuang dialects, and the Latin-based system is based on the Wuming dialect. Because of this and other reasons, there still are many Zhuang speakers that prefer to write Zhuang using Sandip. Even though it is not the official script at grassroots level various departments have continued to use Sandip on occasions to get their message across. Coming into 21st century Sandip understanding and usage of Sandip remains significant. Of those surveyed in two dialect areas, just over one third said that they understood Sandip, and about one in ten that they use Sandip in most domains. These rates are approximately twice those for the Romanized script, with only one sixth saying they understood it and only one in twenty saying they used it in most domains. After five years in preparation, the Sandip Sadenj Sandip Dictionary, Chinese, Gu Zhuang Zz Dian Pinyin, Gu Zhuang Zidian, Dictionary of Ancient Zhuang Characters was published in 1989 with 4,900 entries and over 10,000 characters, and is the first and only dictionary of Zhuang characters published to date. In 2008 it was announced that work was to begin on a new dictionary called The Large Chinese Dictionary of Ancient Zhuang Characters In 2012 a enlarged facsimile of the 1989 dictionary was published with a different cover. Unicode Unicode versions 1-8 included some Sandip characters that are frequently used in the Chinese names for places in Guangxi, such as Ba Bya Chinese, Ba meaning mountain or Dong and Dung Chinese, Dong meaning forest, and are therefore included in Chinese dictionaries, and hence also in Chinese character sets and also some that are from other non-Zhuang character sets. Over 1,000 Sandip characters were included in the CJK Unified Ideographs Extension F block that was added to Unicode 10.0 in June 2017, and a further batch of Sandip characters are under consideration for inclusion in a future version of the Unicode standard. At present very few fonts have support for Sandip characters added to Unicode 10.0. Literature. <inaudible> 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 For over 1,000 years the Zhuang have used Sandip to write a wide variety of literature, including folk songs, operas, poems, scriptures, letters, contract, and court documents. Sandip literature is often though not always in verse. Only a small percentage of Sandip literature has been published. 
Traditional songs, or stories, are often adapted over time, and new works continue to be written to this day. Regional differences With regional differences, as with other aspects of Sandip scholars express a number of differing ideas. One of the first systematic studies of Sandip that covered more than one location was Zhang Yuansheng's 1984 examination of 1114 Sandip, mainly from Wuming but also including some characters from 37 other locations. Zhang found substantial variation between dialect areas, and even within locales. In 2013, David Holm reported a geographical survey of the script, comparing characters used for 60 words in texts from 45 locations in Guangxi and neighboring areas. He found that regional variations in the script often did not correlate with dialect groups, which he attributes to importation of characters from other regions, as well as subsequent sound change. However he claims to have found a clear geographical division in terms of the branch of Chinese that provided the pronunciation of borrowed characters. In Guizhou and northern Guangxi, character readings correspond to southwest Mandarin, which was brought to the area by the armies of the Ming dynasty. In central and southwest Guangxi, they closely match Pinghua, which is derived from the speech of Han dynasty immigrants. Holmes states that while both Pinghua and Zhuang have changed over this period, this has generally been in parallel, making it difficult to date the readings. Scholars studying the script used in Guizhou associate the origin of with the introduction of Chinese officials in the early Qing dynasty. Example text From Article 1 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in Northern Zhuang Latin transcription 1982 orthography Bu bu ma dangs lajum bwn ku mis cwus, sin hyan caeu q gensli boxbu bingsdang. Gyunk vuns mis leasing caeu q leungjism, wng dang daih gyunk de lumj beeksnungs itiang. Latin transcription 1957 orthography Bo si bo si ma di la z bn ku mi siu sinyan ku genli bo si bo si bid z gi vun mi li z si ku lisim da dai ging de lum z b e i c nu si it ye Unicode characters with currently unencoded characters represented as ideographic description sequences in brackets Bu bu, ma ding dao pa yun tian ju, zi yu zhuang yan, quan li bu bu ping deng, yun, li xing, liang xin ying dang dai, lan kai bai kai nong yi. See also Chinese family of scripts Saguk Chu nam Notes <laughs>